guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make legume the Haitian way so for this you need two eggplants and I have two coyotes um, these are called militon and creole and I have a head of cabbage here and I also have two maggi cubes I'll be using two tomatoes and one jalapeno with my cloves poked in there and I have some parsley and thyme that I'll be tying together just so I don't lose them in the cooking process and I have about a pound of baby carrots and I'll be using two tablespoons of my Haitian spice and some salt to taste and two bags of frozen spinach you can use fresh spinach if you want but I just um, found the frozen spinach so convenient for me and I also have three to four pounds of goat meat that I'll be washing and I'll show you guys how I season it and you also be needing some olive oil and about two tablespoons of tomato paste so let's get cooking guys okay guys my meat is all clean I clean my meat with some lime and now I'll go ahead and add two tablespoons of my Haitian spice to my meat and just stir it up just to mix everything in just like so and I'll go ahead and grab my two Maggi cubes and just crush them right in there just like so and I use about a tablespoon of lime juice and just mix that all in and to that I use about three tablespoons of olive oil And just mix it all in as well I'll add one Roma tomato and I'll add my parsley and thyme and I'll use my pork jalap my jalapeno pork with some cloves so now I'll add my coyote and as always guys I'll leave the ingredients down below for you guys so be sure you check it out and I'll add my eggplant to it it looks like a lot but as this cook down it's gonna sh everything is gonna shrink up so dramatically now I add my cabbage all we did was just give this some really really rough chop it don't have to be perfect we peel off the skin of the coyotes and the eggplants and just slice them so just pile this up it will shrink down so much like I said just like so and I'll add the rest as it goes down so now you want to bring this to a boil. I want to have my heat set at about a medium high and let this cook for a good 30 minutes. Just be sure to check on it every now and then so to check if your meat is burning or not. But let it cook for about 30 minutes. I'll go ahead and add the top of my pot to it and just let it cook down. Cook down. So I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. Okay, I went ahead and added the rest of my cabbage to it and now I'll add my carrots. I did not add my carrots right away because they tend to cook a little faster and I don't want them to be too soft. It's been about 15 minutes. So I'll just add my carrots to it. And I did end up using a foil to put on top of it to cover it just to make sure everything is being steamed properly so I'll go ahead and add my foil back on top and let it cook for another 15 minutes veggies are all cooked 
I'll go ahead and remove my carrots. I'll remove all my veggies from the pot. I'll show you guys exactly what I'll do after I remove all the carrots. And now I'll grab another pot to add my cabbage to it. I'll add the remaining, all the remaining vegetables. You want to be sure your meat stay in the pan. You don't want to take the meat out. So next for the vegetables, I'll be using this um, little wooden um, thing here. We call it mush pilon in Haiti. You can use the bottom of a glass, a drinking glass to beat the vegetables because we want to mash the veggies down as much as possible. So just like so, just go ahead and get and mash everything up. Okay guys, now add about two tablespoons of tomato paste to the meat. My stove is still on, set on medium high. Actually, I'll add about two and a half tablespoon of tomato paste. And I'll add about a teaspoon and a half of salt. And the salt is always to your own liking. And at this point, I'll go ahead and put in my two bags of spinach. I did it separate since it's frozen. So you want to allow the spinach to untar in the pot and let it cook for a little bit before you add the rest of your vegetables. So I let this cook for about 15 minutes. As you can see, my spinach is cooked down. It's not frozen anymore. And it's been about a good 15 minutes. And I added two more tablespoons of tomato paste to it. And now I add the rest of the vegetables. And this is how we beat them down. Pretty nice and smooth, I guess. So I just add it all to this pot so we can mix it all in. This is definitely one of my favorite Haitian dishes. I'll be eating this with some white rice and some bean stew. We call it sospoa. As always, I'll take pictures at the end for you guys so you guys can see how delicious this looks. And I also have a sospoa video, the black bean stew for you guys. We just mix it all in really good starting to look more like legume already. Yummy. So now if you need to add more tomato paste, you can definitely add some more tomato paste. And I'll add about a tablespoon of lime juice to that. And just mix it all in. And at this point, you can taste it to see if you need more salt. And I won't really tell you guys how much salt to add. I'll leave that to your own tasting. And I'll add, I, I ended up taking out my bell pepper and I'll just add it back in and I'll add my carrots to the mix as well. And just stir it up really good to mix everything in. Now I'll turn my heat down to like a medium low or even low heat just so everything can simmer down nicely. So I let this simmer down for about a good 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and make my sauce pois. So as I make that, that can cook down so everything can get to know each other. <laughs> So like I said, taste for your salt and just let it simmer down for a good 20 minutes. 
My legume is pretty much done. This is what it looks like. That why I make it might be different from other people. Everybody, you know, a lot of people in Haiti have their own different way of cooking. This, this is just the way I learned from my mother. And if you guys want to see this being made with chicken, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys would like to see the chicken version of this recipe. And if you guys have any other requests, please leave it down below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And I will leave you with some great pictures at the end. I love you guys for watching. See you on my next video. Bye-bye. I have about a teaspoon of butter that I put in there just to finish it off.